Most of Monday will be dry. Monday afternoon, Monday evening, that's when the chance of rain will begin to go up in earnest. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning through lunchtime. Just a slight chance of a few showers. But between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m., so nearing tomorrow evening's rush, that's when the chance of rain is really going to be beginning to increase into the likely category. And we could see about a quarter to three quarters of an inch of rain on average across the area. So this is going to be some more healthy rainfall. It won't be flooding rain by any means. And I wouldn't be surprised if you heard a few claps of thunder tomorrow afternoon. As well. 59 degrees, winds out of the south about 16. No gusts officially there at KCI. It's 60 in Leavenworth, 62 in Liberty, 61 in Independence Lee Summit at 60 degrees. The cloud cover combined with the wind overnight is going to help keep those temperatures up there in the 40s and 50s. We have a windy, cloudy environment. Usually we can't cool things off that much at night. Highs for tomorrow are going to be in the mid and upper 60s despite the cloud cover and the rain. Very strong, subtly winds bringing in warmer air, but that will be erased Monday evening and Monday night as the cold front comes through. Here's the timeline. This is what the clouds and radar will look like tomorrow morning. Cloudy skies. Lunchtime through about 5 o'clock. That's when we could see a few showers. But the bulk of the rain is going to hold off until tomorrow evening. There's 10 o'clock, a band of showers developing from Maryville to St. Joe to Lawrence, moving through Kansas City. And then it moves through quite quickly. By Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning's commute, I think most of the rain is going to be out of here. So hopefully we can kind of just narrow this window down of rain to tomorrow evening up to about midnight, and it's only tomorrow evening's commute that you have to worry about. So bring the umbrella tomorrow morning before you leave home. You won't need it really for tomorrow morning, but you'll need it on the way back. Lunchtime, 60 degrees, a slight chance of a few showers, strong southerly winds, wind gusts possibly up to 25, 30 miles an hour. And by the evening drive, temperatures will be dropping down in the lower 60s, and rain showers will become likely as we head into early tomorrow night. Over the next seven days, it looks pretty seasonable. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s in the morning, 50s and 60s for afternoon highs. I think Friday morning, that's the next chance of freezing conditions. That's when you'll have to take precautions, protect your pipes, bring your pets indoors. And if you still have any plants outside that are sensitive to the cold, that's when you'll need to take note of that for early Friday morning. We'll keep our eyes on it as we get closer.